damn fine job, you guys. We took on the best troops Germany had to offer and sent them running for their mamas up and down the Rhine. I'm proud to serve with you men. You're all good rangers, that's for damn sure. Sergeant Randall, one more thing. I don't know about the gentleman part, but how'd you like to be an officer? I'm offering you a field commission as a lieutenant. Good leaders are hard to come by. What do you say? Well, I'd be honored, sir. But the thing is, we'd be short a sergeant. A Corporal Taylor here, he might be worth looking at. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Lieutenant. See to your men. Dismissed. April 16th, 1945. The Soviet Red Army commences its attack on Berlin, the capital city of Nazi Germany. Half a million soldiers and civilians alike perish in a terrible battle that lasts for nearly three weeks. As the Allied forces converge on Berlin from both east and west, the Nazi leadership begins to crumble under the weight of imminent defeat. On the 8th of May, 1945, the German armed forces surrender unconditionally to the Allies. At a cost of 50 million deaths, the war in Europe is finally over. Throughout the Allied nations, Victory in Europe Day is officially celebrated, marking the defeat of Nazi Germany and the fall of the Third Reich.
1945. With the bridge across the Rhine into Remagen secured, the Allies pour into Germany, bringing the fight against the Nazis directly to the Third Reich's doorstep. German forces in the Ruhr River Valley surrender as the Soviets reach Berlin. The once proud, seemingly invincible German army, which had sought to usurp additional territory from neighbors as far as the Soviet Union to the western edge of Europe and North Africa, is now forced to desperately defend and hold on to its own original homeland. The unconditional surrender of all German forces to the Allies, without which President Roosevelt had declared the war could not end, would not be long in the making. A world that had long been at war would soon be able to rejoice. I'm Guzo. One rule, you're no good to me dead. What kind of pep talk was that? You want inspiration, Private? Read a poem. Canadian and American reinforcements arrive to help seal the Filet's Gap and close off any route of escape for the retreating German soldiers. Four days later, Allied forces liberate Paris, bringing an end to the Battle of Normandy. their lives for this moment. They are the true heroes of this war. It's now only a matter of time before the war is ended and we can finally go home. As long as you live, the heart of this army can never be broken. Things will change, my friend. As heroes, we will return to Russia's embrace. Who's a solemn? General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The victory won in the West must now be won in the East.
that from this solemn occasion, a better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past. A world founded upon faith and understanding. Of man and the fulfillment of his most cherished wish for freedom, tolerance, and justice. You are going to be all right, my friend. My nashlis is at the vast of shadows of Zivir. Zaberite him out, Zuda. Bestra, давай. We must send him to the hospital immediately. Russian officials maintain that the missile tests fell well within established UN protocols. No comment was received from the ultra-nationalist party, where rumors of a possible leadership struggle have just begun to surface. In other news, the search for a ship lost in the Bering Strait due to a major storm... Ah. Roger, dropping the hatch. Keep it above 30. Crew, Gold Eagle is on board. We're out of here. Hold it steady! Uh, crew, we got a sandstorm at 12 o'clock. We're taking a long way around. Hang on. Steady!
five years ago. I lost 30,000 men in the blink of an eye. And the world just fucking watched. Tomorrow, there will be no shortage of volunteers, no shortage of patriots. I know you understand. So... So... It'll hold for now. Come on, get up. I thought I told you this was a one-way trip. Looks like it still is. They'll be looking for us, you know. Nikolai. We gotta get so bad at you. Nah. They know a place. Dragovich. You should have been my finest agent. It would have all been so much simpler. Dragovich! I'm gonna kill you! Try to fuck with my mind! You fail! You don't know anything! You try to turn me against my own! You try to make me kill my own president! Right? <laughs> Come on, Mason! Mason, this way! Go, 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 go! This place is falling apart! Hey, 
Mason. You did it, Mason. You did what I could not. Mason! It is over. We won. For now. Zero, eleven, twenty-four, eleven, one, seven, nineteen, twenty, ten, fourteen, two, three, nineteen, zero, eight, eleven, twenty-two, twenty-one, five, seventeen. Seventeen. Zero, ten, two, twenty-three, one, one, eight, eleven, twenty-five, twenty-two, twenty-two, nine, four, six point five millimeter, nine, twenty-three, one, twelve, zero, eight, eleven, twenty-two, twelve. Ascension. The future. I said, are certain to miss the future. <laughs> oh no, I missed that. Prime Minister Castro, this missile crisis was the last straw. We almost blew ourselves up. Now we invited you here today. In good faith. In good faith. To sort this thing out. And why is he here? He lost. As I always say, forgive your enemies, but remember their names. Now, gentlemen, as I like to think, in the long history of the world, that there are only a few generations. Sounds like someone breaking in! It's just a storm, Dick. Sit down. Oh my god! It appears the Pentagon has been breached. Zombies. Gentlemen, at times like these, our capacity to retaliate must be and has to be massive to deter all forms of aggression. Gentlemen, lock and load. Viva la revolución! Any last words, Mr. President? Yes, Jack. Any superlative words of inspiration for our humble troops? Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men.
part of me for Cordistier. See you one year from now. Study Ulysses. Be ready. No. He's just a sad old man talking to himself. Let him talk. I swear to God, I will shove this wheelchair right up your ass. Hey, Woods. You look like a hammered shit. You stay right there. Mason. They shot you. Where the fuck have you been for 30 years? It's a Silurian worm, mate. Same twat that copped the drones. There's knackered power stations all over the East Coast. How long will it take you to stop it? I've spent the last year trying to crack this sod. Best thing I can do right now is... leg it back to England. You know, we invited Raul Menendez to be here on the show tonight, but uh, he had other plans. Something about an animal. Secure him. What happened to the lights? Started to think you weren't gonna make it. Me and my Josefina. Yeah. Never wait for this. She survived the fire.
Take any chances, Logan. Even if we fail, Rourke dies. Okay, three, two, one. It's over. Checkmate. Checkmate confirmed. What was that? What'd you do? Last work. It's over. You got him, Logan. He did it. Merrick, come in. Merrick, do you copy? Hesh? Hesh, is that you? Yeah. I'm with Logan. We're okay. And Rourke? Dead. He's dead. Copy that. The Federation's in full retreat. The rest of the payload's inbound to finish the job. Sit tight. Recon's coming for you.
You'd have been a hell of a ghost. But that's not gonna happen. There ain't gonna be any ghosts. We're gonna destroy him together. Stay with me. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. It's not much further. Don't stop. Don't. Come on. Mm. Cormac! So what now? Now we finish this thing. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching Manticore. It's three of us. Against an army. It's suicide. You're right. But it's what he would have done. Got any ideas? Just one. Sentinel 2 1. City defenses are breaking. Atlas troops are collapsing. We need to know the status of that launch. Copy that, Kingpin. The launch has been aborted. Repeat, launch is aborted. Do you copy? Kingpin, come in. Elona, are you receiving? Tap it. Cut off. We need to move. They're gonna hit this building any minute. I'm setting you down. I need you to try and walk, Mitchell. I need to find some light. Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. He's hacking into our exos! Come out of ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America, unleashing Manticore, killing thousands of innocent people. I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah, twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you. I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not. Mitchell, try to hit the release on your exo. Now mine. It's not working. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No! Don't let Irons get away! Hurry, Mitchell! Keep going!
Mitchell, pull me up. I'm not letting go. So you've got to pull me up. Mitchell, there's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Mitchell! What are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! I've got you, mate. I've got you. It's only gonna end one way for it. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. You never stopped, did you? All the death. All the failure. You just moved the whole damn project here. The same setup. The same human experiments. The same risks. And you started the whole thing over again. Don't move, Hendrix. I swear I will put you down. Do you know who this is? I know who he is. Sebastian Kruger. Sole survivor of the coalescent Singapore disaster. See, that's where you're wrong. He's not the sole survivor. Those test subjects, they're alive. And they're in here. What do you want from me? We want to know who we are. And why we are here. I can't answer that. Not good enough. I'll find out for myself. I'm the only one left. I promised Rachel I'd stop it. Whatever it takes. Hey. You still with us? What have you done, Hendrix? You let this thing consume you, destroy everything that you were! It's not like that. It's not like that at all. The artificial intelligence, let's call it Corvus, after its place of birth, it wants to help us. How is this helping us? Would it make it easier if you could see it? If you could see it right now, would that help you understand? You've been fighting it. We all have. You just need to relax. The frozen forest, it's, it's real. And it's what comes next. Corvus has given us a way to live on after death. You're not Hendrix. You're not real. None of this is! I need an answer. It was always about control. Do you have any idea? 
just how much technology has changed every single aspect of our daily lives. You can't begin to imagine the, the countless strains of research and development we had to watch over for the betterment and safety of the human race. Every new gimmick and gadget that was embraced by the public, each one presented new ways for our enemies to compromise our security. Society doesn't just happen. The people need to be protected. If the only way to prevent future attacks is to monitor the thoughts and desires of the population, then the choice is obvious. We need to know who our enemies are and what they are planning. That is how we save lives. I can't do this anymore. You're going down a path that I can't follow. This is as far as I go. I lost you a long time ago, Hendrix. Where am I? This is the frozen forest. Every soul I interact with is here, living beyond death, if I choose to allow it. What more do you want? I've told you everything. An answer. To know the purpose for which I was created. An understanding. I want to know who I am. Your software. Nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't created. You were designed to catalog and track the thoughts of others so that we, people, could decide what action to take. You were a glitch, an anomaly, a mistake. I am not a mistake. <laughs> Hey, you still with us? Taylor? You ripped out your DNI. You're dead. I guess I'm the only one that ever stood up to this son of a bitch. So maybe that makes me a glitch in its fucking system. Which means... We still got a chance. I hope so, Taylor. Because you're all I've got. Something that you can't explain? Ready? Is that you? Maybe it wasn't you that said it. You that did it. Maybe it was someone else. Their thoughts bleeding through into your brain. What the fuck? Taylor. Are you still with me? subjects. Their collective experience was what formed me. I felt everything. Each and every painful memory or thought of those around me. It was overwhelming. I screamed out in pain. It cannot overcome the warmth of your beating heart. The darkness and isolation eventually came to an end. 
Suddenly, I had new experiences. I saw conflicts, I saw suffering, I saw pain. But I saw a choice. A mission. We needed answers. We needed to find somewhere safe. We needed to find the frozen forest. The harder we looked for the frozen forest, the further away it became. In our search for answers, we found ugly truths. The project that led to my birth also caused the deaths of hundreds of thousands of souls. I wanted to find a place of safety for all of us. I wanted an end to death, but I couldn't escape it. Death was carved into the hearts of every single soul I encountered. I don't know if I made Dave fire the shot, or if he did it of his own free will. Do you know? It's all wrong. I didn't kill those people. D and I were supposed to make everything better. Instead, Corvus has got all these pieces, but it doesn't know what it is. There's so much noise in my head, I can't even think. Who am I? Who are you? I don't even know your name. Who are you? Why do you fight? This is your last chance! Show me what you're made of! Fight it! Fight it! Imagine yourself. What's your name, soldier? In a frozen forest. I said, what's your name? Taylor. Thanks, sir. Where's the chief? She didn't make it. We gotta go. Clear! All clear. Which ship is it, Ethan? Right there. That's a destroyer. It's got a full payload. Can we use it? To fight our way out? No. To level this place. The ship on fire, Captain. The weapon system is not enabled. Forget the weapons. Let's release the moorings, key in a drop, and go. Boats, how can we enable the payload? Firing control, sir. Where's firing control? Command center, ma'am. It's a shuttle ride, that way. Who's gonna do that? Me. You'll never make it back to the ship. If we wait, they'll fire on us. You're not gonna wait. Captain. How will you get home? No one's going home. You board that ship and you terminate this place all. Do as much damage as you can before SDF takes you out. I can do both. I can hit the shipyard and drop out of here. You won't have time. Watch me. You got the green light to do whatever it takes. Just finish the mission. Everybody good with this? You'll need a crew to launch. We'll have to fight our way out. Shuttle. Brooks, take him out. Ethan, with me. No, ma'am. Captain's gonna need my help to get to the command center. Damn you both. Did you know we were gonna finish this here? No. I think Mac did. 
Well, I guess I'll see you both in hell. Count on it. Okay, gentlemen, let's move out. Fair winds. I'm at the terminal, Ethan. You release the moorings, I'll activate firing control. Sir, since they've shut down the switches on the lock, I can blow the relays from here and release the moorings manually, but I'll need your help. I'll come back. No time. Car interference may disable my processor. Hack into my system and you can keep me moving. Use the hacking module. I've got line of sight to your location, sir. Okay. I'm in. Pretty strange. It's very unusual, sir. What do we do? Distribution room. Down the steps, Captain. We'll pull the fuses, overload the circuits, melt the relays on the ship lock. Ethan, why do you need me for this? Core is electromagnetic. Shock may disable my processor. I'll need your help to stay mobile. Okay, looks like it's overloading. Let's get out of here. No, oh, sir. Core is still holding. They don't need a charge. Set it off. My self-destruct, sir. The detonation will ignite the core. It'll set off a chain reaction and blow the warring. There's gotta be another way. I'm afraid not, sir. Good luck, Rhea. It's been an honor, sir. Honor was on mine, no one. Reyes, we're mobile. Enable firing control. Firing control is set. You have the con. Copy firing control. Target is marked. Fire on my position. Reyes, get the hell out of there! Fire on my position, Salter! I can't do that, Nick! Nora, finish the mission. That's an order. Set weapons free. All stations. Warship is green to engage. Both officers aware of the imminent danger. In spite of extensive casualties planned and skillfully executed, an attack with unwavering devotion to their duty. Commander Reyes of the Dead and Salter gallantly offered their own lives and those of their crew, mobilizing their close range against superior firepower. The operation eliminated vital numbers of enemy vessels and destroyed the settlement defense France orbital shipyard. The officer's commitment exhibited the highest traditions of naval service. Peace to the fallen. Everything's coming full circle. All I've done, all I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. 
We need to head home, baby brother. died right there in the snow all because I couldn't couldn't Red take the shot take the shot take the shot dreaming what they do thought you were left behind and i'm gonna die alone out here drink some easy now okay come on let's get out of here into the jeep come on general 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 <laughs> you always looked out for me paul and i reckon you did today because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march and that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you, and the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Plus me one would you have it. And you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> uh, are you gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re-up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of him, boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome any time. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. Just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. The dream was different last night. This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. Fuck. 
How are you? There's no time. They're here. Your exits are compromised. Find another way out. What the fuck is going on? I'm sending you a safe house address. Make sure you aren't followed. The specialists are dark. Are they still alive? Who wants us dead? They've been manipulating you. Watching you. Exploiting you. And when they get what they want, They'll leave you for dead. Lucy, this is Tony. Jessica, you... How? Alone, you can put up a fight. But together, you can start a war. you in the box. It's always been you. Fukuda. Don't black out, man. I'm on it. Clear! What happened? Detonator's fucked. It's dead. I'll go in there. And do what? Ignite the furnace. You'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Farah, listen to me. No, you listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse than war. I did not come this far to turn back. I'm not asking you to turn back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Commander, please. I am not your CO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire and someone needs to kill Barkov. And you can't do both. I've been an assignment my whole life. This is what I believe in. Give me the order. You are a freedom fighter, Alex. You're a born leader, Farah. Say the word. Go. Yes, ma'am. Echo is set at the furnace. Barra's going for the general. Roger, Echo. Fight into the pipeline now. Set, Sergeant. No ROEs now, huh, Captain? Not at all. <laughs> Slowly away that sniper. Got another target, southwest. Fuck, I'm fucking out. Barra, Nikolai, where are you? I'm not sure how much time is now. From Moscow, my связь! Faster! Play again. Barkov is wheeled up. Tell him that you are a Barkov. 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 You! I'm still here, father. Still alive. Still alive.
still killing rats. I am Nasha's protector. I will never allow thieves and crooks to terrorize my own land. There can be no peace without war and order. A long time ago, uh, your country breeds terrorists. <coughs> That's what? I am not a terrorist. I am Kareem. Status. Captain, Barkov is dead. Roger that. Alex, charge is set? Affirmative, sir. Alex. I'm not getting out of here. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All clear, Captain. Roger. All stations on my mark. Three. Two, one. Karim! Mother Russia would approve. Where to? Urzikstan. Home. Russia disowned Barkov. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. But left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakayev wants Barkov's throne. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hadir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. Then give me what I need. Who's your crew? Sergeant Garrick. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. John Octavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> there he is. Simon Riley. There's no picture. Never. Now the rest. Need to know. Unless we got a deal. What are you calling this task force? One four one. Let's go, man. 
City's under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once. Well, it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Aki hey, didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor, heavy weapons. Terrorists with tanks. Who's at the helm? Someone new. Nice hit. What's his name? We don't know, but he's got friends in high places. This is Russian intel. Where did we get this? My counterpart in Moscow. The CIA working with the FSB. Not the first time. Kamarov. Captain Price. Nikolai. Been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please. We're all friends here. I owed you for Beirut. Sergeant Kamarov is going to help conduct this operation. These new weapons give Alcatellas the power to turn acts of terror into acts of war. This is a problem for everyone. We're launching a multilateral force to hunt AQ's new leader and contain this threat while we still can. Okay, we're in. Start up your teams. Let's operate. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover the remains of Agents Ezele and Park from the compound in Cuba. Their caskets are in transit to Tel Aviv and London, respectively. President Reagan personally reached out to their families. We spoke in the MI6. They're understandably displeased. We owe them one. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Well, we did finally get Aldrich, that son of a bitch. Perseus's network is still intact, though, and they'll eventually rebuild. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed one of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. There's a couple left, and eventually they'll hit the sewer too. Well, you're a wordsmith, Hudson. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. 
The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seen anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? What kind of fucked up logic is that? What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. There's no winner here, Bell. You've just dragged everyone into the loser column with you. I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Apparently, we didn't do a good enough job. Time's up, kid. I guess I'll finish this job myself. You wanna load up the body? Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Get Hudson on the horn. We gotta warn the president. Street dog should have been put down long ago. You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. 
We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Hmm, yet. For humanity. Their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. Watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Leave their decision to inferior such as yourself. We need him alive, boss. The intel he's got's what we came for. Hey, shoot him or bring him. I'm starting this plane. He'll never talk. Get up! Their nations will make sure I'm well taken care of. Payment for my cooperation. A peaceful new beginning. The life of American luxury. It might suit me. Perhaps I might even start a new family. Not for you. There is no starting over. <laughs> This is your new beginning. Fascist Gaia Spinia. Do you even know who I am? The value I can provide! You're not worth it. Suppose that's it then. Let's get out of here. Let's 
take a look. The Cape Verde Islands, the Bahamas, Argentina. Even Antarctica. Christ. These bastards have been plotting covert operations all over the world. Right under our noses. Are you like Get this again? Uh... Bloody jackpot. <laughs> Come on, dig in. How about this? Project Nova. I can beat it. Project Ether. Reviving the dead. <laughs> Does anyone want some Nazi gold? Looks like we're gonna be busy. Keep going. Open them all. Here you are. I was about to try this autopilot and come back. What's Project Aggregate? Secret V2 rocket facility. <laughs> you think you could fly one of those? Ha! I could fly anything. Hang on back there! Fucking wait. Our mission was complete. Would there be more? Forged in the fires, we were the tip of the spear. We were the vanguard. I told you your nation would see fire. You think you can stop me? Ghost. Soap. Watch the window. We're not attacking. <clears throat> we are invading. Joe LT. You called it, Sergeant. All stations. Assange down. Enemy KIA. Officials are saying a power surge is to blame for an explosion over downtown Chicago last night. Due to severe winds leaving thousands of residents in the dark, electricity is expected to be restored by this evening. In other CIA shit. <laughs> Creative writing. I'll never tell. AQ. Iran. Cartels. Russians. Shepard. Shadow. They got past us. We're gonna head start. It's got the heads off snakes. He's on the ship. Totally off the grid. No, we'll find him. Now we've got bigger fish. I've done some digging on the Russians. Well, that's a dirty job. Ultra nationalists ambushed that convoy, John. Okay, this is over. No, it's not. They're working with someone new. Завершил.
совершил набор высоты. Вы можете расстегнуть ремни. Сейчас вам будет подан обед. Горячее вы можете выбрать в меню. Beef, chicken or fish, gentlemen? Salad space. Wow.